Hello and welcome to New Filmmakers Los Angeles. My name is Danny DeLillo. I'm delighted that we're going from Los Angeles to Dresden, Germany to be with Louisa uh, with her fantastic film, Phantasmia. Hi Louisa, how you doing? Hello, I'm very fine. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. <laughs> your film was wunderbar, but for those that haven't seen your film, let's take a look at a clip. Louisa, I, 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 I want to know what's going on in your mind that created this world for us of, uh, in your film because it was just amazing. Um, but, but for those that haven't seen your film, tell us a brief synopsis. Okay, it's, uh, in the film you can see a, a woman giving birth to, a, I would say, a being or a monster maybe. Um, and taking care of it and um, um, trying to send it uh, to expositions and or to, to show it to the world but uh, um, people first start to not to, to not accept it and later it gets accepted and but people start to laugh about it and uh, then she gets very upset and she doesn't know whether she should like this monster she gave birth to or not. And then people start to like it on another exposition. So she starts to like it again, but actually it's already quite old after a long journey. And uh, so, and she's getting pregnant again with another monster maybe so she just leaves it to to a place where already are a lot of monsters of hers or beings of hers and uh, she's creating something new it's it's amazing and it was like a whole like journey of like acceptance and 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 it was it was just really really an enthralling story and i i mean you know firstly i mean you know uh, you know, a mother go. You know, giving birth is 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 a, is a is a big experience of 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 a mother's life anyway. Um, and then obviously discovering what she's you know what she's uh, given birth to, and 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 deciding of you know loving that 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 being or whatever it may be. I'm I'm curious, where did the inspiration come for you in creating this story? Uh, um, well, I I became a mother. And uh, while giving birth, I was thinking actually like in pain there in the hospital, like, oh, this is quite similar to, to being creative and giving birth to artworks. And uh, then after birth, all the family and friends came and to see it and everybody was like, oh, that's such a cute baby. And I was like, I thought when I make movies, it's not like that, like not people, not uh, come directly and say it's nice actually it's it's the opposite critics say no or the festivals say no we don't want to see it and you actually want to show it to the world and uh, so I, I and, and people always told me like okay but if why are you an artist if you can't accept critics so it's just and, and people don't understand that uh, being an artist and showing the work is like giving a baby to the world, you know, and showing your baby to the it. world. And of course it hurts you because this work is a part of yours, of, 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 of myself, part of my, my, my heart. So of course it's, it's very hard to, to accept critics and to accept no's. Yeah, uh, I love that you okay. mentioned this because pretty much with every interview I do, I talk about people releasing their film baby to the world, you know, mm -hmm. and it literally is like that. You're giving birth, you're sharing your art mm -hmm. and, you know, you don't obviously want people to, you know, because it's it's your work and people to criticize your art and your creativity, you know, it's, it's hard, you know, because yeah. it's all subjective. Um, yeah. So I love that you, you, you know, you actually just shared that with us and, and, you know, and you, and you, listen, you're a very talented artist. We loved your film at New <laughs> Film. 
Kelly. So, so we're, 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 we're definitely fans of yours. Um, you know, how, how, how was, how, you know, I'm just curious because, you know, you, you, again, I think you're extremely talented and I love what you kind of, how you did it and how, and the style of your animation. Um, how did you kind of begin about, you know, creating your, your, your characters? How was that process for you, for you as an artist? Mm, I always think that uh, the story doesn't come together with the technique. I always fell in love with a with an image, and in that mm -hmm. case, it was an image uh, I made on woodcut. And oh, I thought, like, oh, I would love to make a movie out of woodcut. <laughs> and then I was oh. trying, and I was like, no, it, it's it's like crazy, you know, twelve. 12 images per second uh, on woodcut, why should I do that? <laughs> so um, I tried to find a technique and I tried many things. So it looks like woodcut and I didn't want to do it digital. I wanted to do it completely analog. So I tried some things out and I found out that the best way would be to, to, to put um, a, a color a painting made of pigments by myself uh, on plates of, of glass on glass oh, so i painted yeah. glass and i let it try and then i scratched out the outlines the the, the white parts i scratched yeah. them out not yeah. only the outline the white parts and then i took pictures of it photos of it uh, with a light from behind on a light uh -huh. table so um and and somehow it looked like woodcut a yeah. little bit maybe uh, and and yes i loved it and I, in the beginning everybody was like you're crazy don't do that it's too much work <laughs> and actually it was it was a lot of work, but uh, but I like the style. I, I like to do it also. I like the scratching, like the, yeah. the process. It was only that the, that, that the pigments like were like okay, uh, not only everywhere in the house after, but only on, on my 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 uh, yeah everything. My whole body was full of black pigment, and it, it was terrible. I hated it at the end. But it's I know it's also part. You know, you have to suffer a bit. I think yeah. too, when you produce something. Suffer for your art, definitely. 12 is <laughs> per second. That is, I mean, that's, mm. that's amazing. I think that's really important to share for anyone that is, you know, knows to understand the work that goes into, you know, to create a project, which is yeah. amazing. Well, I mean, obviously, you know, I love that you kind of tried something new for you, you know, and I think that's, that's always exciting as an artist mm -hmm. to kind of, you know, develop your, your own, you know, uh, uh, skills and, and, and utilize your skills that you do have. Um, I'm just curious, like, you know, what was, like, obviously, I, I love how you explain about this being your film baby, et cetera, et cetera. What did you kind of want your audience to take from your film? Like, if you had, like, a choice, what do you kind of want them to take from it? No, I guess I, 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 was, I, I was wanting to, to explain to all my not artists, friends, uh, which are not so many, but some like how I feel about it. And uh, it's not about, it's not a choice also, if you are an artist or not, it's not a choice. You, you, you mm -hmm. feel you, you, that, that I get, let's say pregnant from, a, from an artwork. It's not, I don't choose, okay, now I do an artwork. No, it just comes and it starts it's, and it's getting worse and I start to suffer. But, uh, and then uh, I, I, it's, mm, uh, it's not something I say like, okay, today I'm an artist and uh, or I'm creative, yeah. but it's, uh -huh. it comes. And um, I, I was trying to explain to my friends that this what comes to me and <laughs> goes through my body also, because I always suffer a lot when I produce. Um, uh, this is something that and this something takes something from me when I when I screen it or when I put yeah. when I finish it and uh, that they explain my suffering. Okay, I'm I'm exaggerating yeah. a little bit now, but uh, it's a, it's a it's a constant suffering. Let's yeah, say. it is, it is, and it's, and it's oh my god, it is. It's a lot of work that goes into creating art. One of the things that I loved uh, throughout is the, the the music was fantastic. Um, tell mm. us a bit more about how you how the music because it had a really really important part to play um, in how we were feeling about those given moments you, you, you gave us. So how, how did that, how was that process? Who were you working with on that? Um, it's now like, like for the last four movies, I'm working with my brother who oh, wow. is an, uh, <laughs> yes, who is an artist too. And uh, he's, he's doing music um, 
now like electronic techno yeah. music and uh, and I, it's it's very nice way to work because he always is in is in need of money so yeah. uh, and so it, that was actually the reason why we started to to work together because my mother was like okay come on you have 1000 euro for music give it to your brother <laughs> and i was like oh, okay but actually we we were very good in working together because he uh, it's a very nice kind of sharing and for him it's always like something else than preparing a concert because we yeah. have more time and we talk a lot about it actually it was a long process this time we talked about it like for eight months we we, we called each other from time to time and he showed me some things and and uh, i think it's what came i like it a lot i i actually <laughs> wanted something completely else i actually wanted to sing yeah. and uh, i'm not a good singer but i told him like you have like filters and everything you can make me a good singer no? i want to <laughs> sing in this movie and he was like okay i tried but he said i'm not so good a composer with for me melodic things yeah i was like okay let's try something new but uh, what yeah it, it didn't come out so but well, i'm ha very happy what came out you're a very talented <laughs> family so hey keep it in the family and, and celebrate each other i love it i love that you found each other and, and created this together because it was <laughs> It was very significant to it um, as well. It's so funny because I have so many questions about the film, but I almost want people to kind of have a chance to, to watch it as well. But, you know, I love the bit at the end where, you know, you kind of crawled into the ball at the end. And I was like, I love the analogies you kind of gave us. Like, I, it's kind of a film that I want to watch more than once because I know there was just, you know, some really intricate details in there um that just had some yeah. very symbolic kind of moments which which i love that you you you, you showed us you know i really do mm -hmm. um what i mean obviously uh we're very grateful uh we got to do this uh from from uh one side of the world to another and we're so happy we were have you at new filmmakers la but what's the experience been like now you shared the film how has it been mm, well i got a lot of no's <laughs> <laughs> from uh, many festivals um, so uh, it was as usual, and in one way, and another way, it, the festivals that accepted the many festivals directors came to me and said, like, oh, uh, I had to accept this film because I feel you so much, and it's always so, uh, so so hard for us to not accept movies, and you actually make a movie about this, and I'm so sorry, <laughs> and, uh, wow. very very sweet, but. Um, uh, I also had the experience that people come to me um, or wrote me after and said, I don't know what is your movie about. I don't, I don't get it. I, what, what is this monster? Why is she pregnant? Why is she giving birth to a monster? What is it? Why, why is it in there that the nose? And, and why is she sad and happy and whatever? There are people who don't get it. And I think like, okay, I tried my best to explain how, how creative people make feel but okay if you don't get it you don't get it well, it was I mean, interesting for me because... yeah but i mean i i mean you know i think the, the i mean firstly at new filmmakers for example we love to create things we've never seen before and yeah. you know, sorry, uh, showcase things we've never seen before and and i've never seen a film like yours you have a very unique talented style and you know and I, I hope, I like to think I did get it, but at the same time I was, I'm talking to you and I'm learning more about it. And like, do we really have to get things to, in order to show things? And so I'm glad that we showed your film because your film's got a lot of symbolism and, and great analogies and great, I, I, I really, really enjoyed it. So I'm glad, yeah. I'm glad that we had, we had your film and, your film <laughs> festival and really, really excited that you're with us. So, so thank you. Um, what, what is, what is next for you? <laughs> <laughs> in this crazy time yeah in this crazy time because corona put me like in a whole um you know artistic um how you call it in english like yeah a, no, really I know. It's, it's a bit of a, a bit of a journey is i know a bit of a downer i know i can appreciate it yeah I, i'm in, i'm in a very deep down but i feel it's going it's getting better so um i don't know i can't say anything right now and actually it's i i, I enjoyed that corona put me in a in a forced mm -hmm. break so yeah. uh, I, sometimes breaks are good but they are very very dif difficult to to how you say to 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 accept yes yes <laughs> so, well yeah. i mean you know and i think as well especially when you're you know an artist and, and, and an animator you kind of never know when the inspiration is going to come next you know and mm. i think that's exciting 
It's also scary at times, I'm sure too, but you know, it's yeah. exciting. So uh, who knows where your inspiration will come next and uh, you know, but, but all I'm going to say is, is please keep making films for us. That's, that's what I want you to keep doing, you know, because you know, I, I will. Uh, you know, you've got a great, a really wonderful style that I love to see um, visually. Thank it's you. really fantastic. Um, I, I just want to finish up just by asking, um, you know, it's such a, to take an idea and then to actually make it into a film is, you know, it's some people have many ideas and don't ever turn their ideas into films. And I just wanted to sort of, uh, for you, for our, our, our audience of filmmakers and, and a potential, you know, people that want to move into animation, et cetera. Do you have any advice that you could share with our audience um, that maybe you go by in your everyday uh, sort of art and filmmaking that you could share with our audience? Oh, um, yes, I, uh, to, yes, um, watch as many movies as you can, uh, read as many books as you can, actually more important because I grew up without any television. I haven't watched so many movies in my life. So go to museums, watch yeah. paintings, yes. or read books. And, yes. um, and if you're out of ideas, maybe what I always do when I'm in a crisis, let's say an artistic crisis, mm -hmm. uh, I start to develop a bad project, which I just say, okay, I know it's a bad project, but out of that always comes not it's something very else, but uh, it's totally different. But uh, I ha just to keep on moving your your brain and to, to, to do something, just develop a bad project. I have a, a whole box out of bed uh, with full of bad projects. It's, it's uh -huh. okay. <laughs> yeah, I know. Great. And it's, it's true because, you know, we get inspired by watching content and other people and we constantly got to keep educating and being, you know, keeping our creative minds alive as well. But um, mm. listen, danke schön for Phantasmia. I was so good and, and <laughs> I, I want more. So uh, when you do return to, to, the, to the world of, of creativity, uh, where we please share your film with us. But, but thank you very much for joining us um, all the way from Deutschland right now. I'm so excited and I want to go back <laughs> so bad. Um, but no, thank you very much for bringing your film to us and we're looking forward to seeing much more of your work. So thank you. Thank you for this interview and good night. <laughs>